Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be uh, going through the modifications I've made to this axe, what type of axe it is, etc, etc. And I'm also going to be showing you how to sharpen your axe using a, uh, an axe puck. The one that I've got is a Linsky one, or Linsky. Um, so we'll dive straight into the video. Right, okay. <clears throat> so this is a little pouch I made. Um, if you're interested in making your own uh, making your own pouches, this is just um, leather off a... Uh, this is uh, furnishing leather, so they were just down the road from where I lived. They was getting rid of an old leather sofa. I said, is there any chance I can cut all the leather off it? And they said, yeah, no problem. So one that's one place you can source leather from if you want to uh, make your own little bags. Finished off with a little bit of deer antler there. Now in here, this is my field kit for sharpening, um, sharpening the axe. So I've got some honing oil and um, a, a wipe, a bit of, bit of cloth, and in here is the uh, is the puck. It's got uh, two grits. I will put a link to this uh, to this puck. The darker side is the coarser grit, and the lighter side is the is the finer grit. So that's uh, the Lansky uh, puck. Right, okay, so a little bit about the axe first. Um, this was gifted to me by a good friend. Uh, the type of axe it is, is a, it's a broad axe, and um, they're used for hewing uh, tree, uh, trees down into, into square beams. Um, they've got quite a, a thin angle of a attack on the, on the blade itself. Um, I'll just slide in a video now so you can see uh, what I did to this axe in the first place. And as you can see from this photo, um, the handle uh, I painted stupidly with uh, face paint. Face paint, I've said it again. Fence paint. Uh, just the stuff you do with your sheds and all that kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't really like it, it didn't sit very comfortably with me, I think. I thought it looked a bit rubbish. So I'm sure you'll agree that the axe looks uh, a little bit better now. Um, I've drilled a hole in the in the uh, in the handle end of it just to put a bit of cord through if I need to hang it up uh, at all. Um, this is uh, three mil leather lacing. This um, neck guard here is actually a woman's uh, belt that I got from a charity shop again, uh, just to protect the neck a little bit. And I've used the same three mil uh, leather lacing to um, to put it on to fix it. Uh, to make the holes I've just used one of them kind of leather punches um, and this uh, blade protector is actually made out of um, a belt again from a charity shop. Uh, made it myself, put a press stud on it. Uh, also you can see that I've got some um, leather rivets. These are double head leather rivets and just sewn it and riveted it uh, just to make it a little bit stronger. There's the axe head. As you can see, like I said, it is quite, quite a thin kind of blade on it. It's quite, quite large. I'd say it's a medium-sized axe myself. Uh, like I say, it's for for hewing um, trees down into into uh, into beams. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about all that. And uh, so today's job is just to uh, put a nice edge on it. It is fairly blunt at the moment. So uh, let's uh, let's get the the gear out. So first of all, we need the puck. We're going to start with the um, the coarse side first. Again, I'll put a link in the description below where I get uh, where I get all this stuff from. This is just uh, obviously a vodka bottle. Didn't want to bring the whole um, honing oil with me. You can use spits. You can use three in one oil, um, but I prefer to use you know the right stuff for the right stuff for the right job. So just put a little drop of that. On there and it soaks straight in. That'll be about right. Let's put the lid back on that. It's quite quite an expensive honing oil. So basically all you do is you grab your axe, you get the puck, make sure you're nice and comfortable, put the puck onto the blade edge at the angle that you uh, at the angle of attack that you want. And then all you do is circular movements and then turn the axe around and do exactly the same movements on the other side. Some people uh, 
do equal amounts of rubs on each side. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep doing that and once you've got it down to uh, down to a nice edge then you can finish it off with the other side which is the smoother grit so I'm just going to continue doing this now sharpen it all up and obviously then the rag is just to, to wipe off any any material that's come off the axe okay guys so I've been at uh, been at the axe about 10 minutes with it being a, an old axe that was gifted to me it's going to take me quite a long time to uh, to get the the blade to how I want it um, and we just have, I've just haven't got time on this video so I've got other video I need to do today as well so um, but that I've, that's the uh, the, the Lansky uh, puck I'll put links into the description for where I got this and the price and all that kind of thing I'll put a link in there and also the rivets that I've used for the leather work I'll put that in the description uh, but there's going to be a, a labour of love I think this one with it being so old and uh, it's going to take me some time it's got some nicks in the uh, in the axe blade that I want to get out. So uh, thanks for watching guys and um, I'll see you on the next video.